Hello and welcome everybody. This is DSP and uh, this is Storm's Crazy Thursday. Uh, it's a three on three battleship challenge this week and we have uh, Big Dave's team up against a team that is built to kill, kill Dave. They're literally named Dave Killers. So let's see how this match will go on. Uh, Dave in the Musashi, Philip Mann in a Sovetsky Soyuz, and with them is Haddock in a Lepanto. That's a pretty strong lineup of players and a strong lineup of ships. Up against them, we have Dimebag in a Marco Polo, Louis in the Iowa, and Redman in his FDG. Uh, similar uh, strategies, I think, being played out here. Uh, a tank on each side and uh, two Italian ships up against each other. The difference is that Dave has gone for the big guns while Louis has gone for the Iowa for its improved speed. Not the ship that I would have recommended or taken but uh, let's see how Louis makes this one work. All right, so I will pause and we will start the match. We will start when we actually go into this match. All right, uh, let's get this underway. Oh interesting choice of maps we have two battleships going up against each other on a cap and on c cap Officially there's going to be a one-on-one -on -one. and that is dave up against redman an fdg versus a musashi now let's see how these two teams approach each other haddock makes his way towards a cap backed up by p man in his soyuz on the other side we have these two ships uh, the marco polo and the iowa splitting off and trying to set up a trap but let's see if they can actually spring that trap i know exactly what louis wants to do Let's see if he can actually uh, implement it. Uh, the trap that he's trying to lay, I think, is uh, too simple for an experienced player like Haddock and, of course, for P-Man. Meanwhile, Red, slowly making his way towards C-Cap, he will take that one unopposed. And if he's clever about it, he will also take B. Louis has not been detected yet. Shots going out. Hitting B-Man. Bad move from Dimebag to use uh, SAP rounds instead of AP. Had a bit of stick there. Interesting. And let's see how Louis makes his presence felt. Haddock having to back off. And uh, Dave being caught in the middle. He doesn't know whether he wants to engage those two ships there or find the Freddy. And if the Freddy is clever about it, you can catch him unawares with his guns on the wrong side. Louis making use of his rather maneuverable battleship and a fast battleship at that to cap C and punch Haddock in the face at the same time. Ooh, this looks like a dangerous situation here. Yeah. 
Now the Sovitsky Soyuz. The man making his way into the cap. That's where the Soyuz's HP pool will come into uh, play. Once he gets into that cap, I don't think these two ships can push him out or kill him. And anyway, Louis taking a terrific beating there, losing a turret. He's in all sorts of trouble. Meanwhile, Dave killers have found their mark. They found Big Dave. Let's see how they make that work. Louis making use of his speed, disengaging from the fight. He is the fastest ship in this match. And he's making... Ooh, there goes another turret. He won't be best pleased about this situation. Meanwhile, Red doing everything in his power to punch out Dave without the use of his secondaries. Dimebag fighting a tough rear guard action. He needs to be careful that he doesn't bump into the island in his eagerness to get more shots on Dave and that was a good salvo. I think Louis will go down. Nicely done. Now, what we see here are two uh, 617 players holding two of the caps and they have to s make some decisions here. Do they target uh, P-Man? Do they target uh, Haddock? Or do they gently disengage? I don't think Red can disengage. What he can do is pray. Pray that for the next minute or so he can hang on. I don't think he can. Some accurate solvos going into Redman. This looks nasty. And Dave making an appearance. Ooh, loses a turret. Come on. Time. This is your chance to be a hero. Finish off Dave. Oh, whisker away. And Dave goes down. That's a screenshot worth having. And what this means is... That Dave Killers have just managed to... And Red manages to hang on, not for long, but it still doesn't matter. Dave Killers have done it. They've killed Dave and won the match. That was brilliant. All right, folks, we'll be back with the next one ASAP. Okay, we are back and we have another cracker of a game here. Oh. Freddy, Missouri and Musashi 
very conventional picks up against a Marlboro, a Freddy, and a Sovietsky Soyuz. Interesting choices. Let's see how someone uses a Marlboro in a full-on battleship match. Speaking of Marlboros, I think it is time for a smoke. Now we have our music back on. Uh, oh, there is a Marlboro here. The Missouri is a Marlboro. Nice. Ooh, and that is how you beat up a Soyuz. Concentrated fire straight with counts. That Missouri needs to be careful though. He won't have a nice time if the enemy starts doing to him what he's aggressively doing to the Soyuz at the minute. But uh, they don't focus him down. Pity. Um, he should keep moving forward, try to round the, the Soyuz and take him out from the other side. Meanwhile, Folia quietly making his way towards C. He's not bothering anybody and nobody is bothering about him. A double fire on Marlboro. I'm assuming from Marlboro, Marlboro, and uh, but I think it's time for the Soyuz to go down. In any case, yep. Just and the other Freddy or Sinus is also looking well used. Uh, he won't be long for this game either. One good hit from the Musashi should finish him off. There you go. Now, Marlboro Doge Folia left alone against a Musashi, a Missouri, and a Freddy. <coughs> much that the Marlboro can do here it's only a matter of time I think we can call it for this Russian team that very long gap uh, let's resume we have two Russian teams facing off against each other uh, get right partisan and get good up against uh, the team that we saw earlier this will be an interesting match a Kirsaj, a Marco Polo and an Alsace up against a Musashi, a Missouri and the Freddy a conventional battleship lineup up against a very unconventional one let's see how this one plays out the Kirsaj obviously getting its uh, spotter aircraft up and away, away as soon as possible um, 
it will obviously spot these planes let these uh, ships but let's see how long that spotting lasts it doesn't have a big plane reserve keep that in mind the Alsace making his speed felt per, and putting it to use is going to quietly cap a try to get in behind enemy lines and probably use the island meanwhile Marlboro in the Missouri is taking some punishment and so is the massage solid chunks being ripped out of that Missouri there he's in trouble taking a terrific beating he won't last too long I'm guessing get right hopes to get that kill but uh, at the same time he might be wishing that he had some smoke or something so he could disengage Ooh, Marlboro on a sliver of health planes going out will he get a mm, lack of communication there those planes could have been put to slightly better use now the Misashi getting focused down but it won't go down without a fight And the Kirsage has to put his ship to good use. Yep. And the Elsass changing his plans coming to the aid of his Marco Polo teammate let's see if that is enough for ow oh, that Kearsarge must be hurting right now Partizan taking a bunch of hits ooh and Marco Polo goes down can the Musashi escape Can't. Double fire on the Freddy, he puts it out. But those guns of the Kearsage, those are Montana guns, keep in mind. They are hurting him. He will win this brawl, but does he have enough left in the tank to face up to a full health Elsass? That's the question. And keep in mind, he needs to chase down that Alsace because he doesn't have any other option. He's uh, about a hundred points behind. Um, he has everything to do, and the Alsace has to do nothing. He can just sit there, tank, and if he feels like he's losing, he can always disengage and run away. He has the speed, he has use of the island. The Elsass loses a turret there. I don't know what the, this Elsass was thinking. All, all it had to do was round the island, go in cap B, and that was pretty much the match locked down. Overthinking it a little bit, I think. And that overthinking might cost him. If 
even if it doesn't cost him, he's made it more difficult for himself than it needed to be. I think one more hit from the Alsace and this match is done and over with. There you go. Get right makes a mess of it but uh, eventually gets it right. And he takes this one for his team. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, and this will be an intense game. Musashi, Marlboro, and Abaji. Interesting choices from this Italian team. Up against a Minnesota, a Duncan, and a Prince Ruprecht. Hmm wonder how this one will play out especially because there are so many islands and this is a base capture Dogefolia has the chance to be a rock star in this game with his sneaky almost cruiser like battleship and then so does the Duncan What the Duncan doesn't realize is he's going to go head to head up against the heavy guns of the Musashi backed up by a Baji. Not something that anyone wants to face in a tier 10, let alone in a tier 9 battle cruiser like the Duncan. Meanwhile, the Ruprecht creeping up. Two ships have been spotted. Um, I don't believe Folia has been spotted yet, but uh, LGR are, are circling them and uh, will pick off targets one by one if this Italian team isn't careful. Reminds me of a western. Nightmare putting his ship to use now. Um, making use of the range and the heavy guns on the Minnesota. But that ship does tend to catch a lot of fires as you just saw. And does take a terrific bit of punishment. It can deal a lot, but it also takes a lot. Not a very satisfying salvo. Admir. Look at Admir's positioning here. Without firing a salvo, he might just win it for his team. Simply by capping them out. This Musashi is not long for this world. He will go down in a few salvos, at which point there's not much left for the Italian team here. Admir takes down, 
John Silver and starts capping the enemy base. Interesting choice. Meanwhile, the Baji doesn't have any options, has to make a fight and uh, is not in a good position to do so. I don't know what Doge Folio wants to do, but uh, I'm sure this isn't the right option. Obviously though, there's not much he can do to change the course of this match anyway. capped out in a base capture match with two minutes left to go not the way these guys would have wanted to go out but uh, it is what it is well played by LGR Sorry, Cuban. I was in a match in white nickels. Yeah. Thank you. How are you? Ah, uh, yes, very good. Oh, yes. Always. Whenever you see. Okay, so this will be interesting. Marco Polo, Black Iowa, and Musashi. This is a strong team who know how each other play, and uh, they have some great ships. Um, these two teams are really strong, they're from the same fleet, so Marco Polo, Musashi and a Black Iowa up against a Marco Polo Soyuz and Elsass. Mm. Both of these teams trying to suss each other out instead of <laughs> running in a counterclockwise motion. You begin to wonder whether they will ever find each other. It seems the Soyuz has spotted the Iowa, and that means. Ooh. First salvo and fan loses his R turret. <laughs> the 
This is where Fan specializes in putting his ship in aggressive positions and just finding a way to survive. That is why I'm a big fan of this guy. Yuki looks in trouble. He's going to run off as well. And the Alsace making use of his speed and his rapid reload. Probably not the best move to turn and give broadside. But that way he can... <laughs> Engage the afterburners and run away. And that's what he needs right now. Meanwhile, Corbin, with his Marco Polo, putting his ship into the fight. Check up on the Soyuz. Will he engage the Black Iowa in a close-up duel or does he want to do something else at the minute? Oh yeah. But Fan will make his escape. He knows how to use the islands really well. I think... Corbin would do well to switch his fire to the Musashi now. Oh, that Alsace is in all sorts of trouble, needs to disengage ASAP. I'm not sure he can because Yuki smells blood in the water. If only he had his guns in the right direction, this would have been killed. Might be a kill regardless. Come on, Soyuz. Take down Blaze. That that is the only hope left. This is a fascinating fight, boys. Ooh, Corbin takes a huge beating, goes down, but this match is still not over. A full health Soyuz up against uh, two battleships with less than 50% health between them. Oh, terrific shooting there by the Soyuz player. Yuki comes out. He's going to engage his rapid reload, precise aim, switch off, auto aim, whatever tricks the boy knows he will try. But I don't think he can pull this off. This is a terrific close up fight between two experienced battleship players going at it to the nail. What a salvo, though. That was close. Well done, Yuki. Hard luck. But still a terrific, terrific battle to watch. What a conclusion. All right, so we are at the quarterfinal stage and the quarterfinal that we've selected is Sorry versus um, Dave Killers. Surprisingly, they must have found Dave in every match. They've made it to the quarterfinals. Let's see how they do in this one. Uh, sorry with, the, with their favorite setup of the Musashi, the Missouri and the Freddy up against a black Iowa 
or Lepanto and Louis in the Alsace. I wonder why Dime switched from a Marco Polo to a Lepanto. Objectively, I would think that the Marco Polo would be a better pick with its precise aim and its uh, rapid reload too, but uh, maybe Dime knows something that I don't. The Russians using their favored method of brute force putting three ships up against Ooh, and, and Dime starts coming under intense fire he smokes up a bit too late that smoke would have been far more useful just a little while ago doesn't need smoke here because uh, there's nothing for him to hide from now louis coming under heavy attack from the missouri the big guns of the masashi and the freddy so unpleasant situation all around for the dave killer team And I'm managing to repair his health. He will go around the back and take C cap while the Freddy will take B. Now the Freddy needs to be careful he doesn't get caught in a crossfire. And the Missouri feeling a bit of pain but uh, delivering pain to the Alsace as well the battle might be won or lost here boys now I'm, I'm guessing Dime is wishing he had the Marco Polo this would have been a perfect use of the spotter plane here Louis goes down the Missouri trying to disengage as much as possible. Spotter planes and rapid reload would have finished him off here. I'm red. Running around like a chicken, a headless chicken. Um, where does he go? There's no way he can engage a Freddy in a close up duel, and Dimebag will take some punishment here from the guns of the Musashi. Missouri will also return into battle. He's recovered some health. Um, the auto secondaries of the Freddy start popping. Red loses a, a turret, oh, a secondary turret, and another one. Can he pull a miracle and finish off this Freddy? not looking good for the Dave killers is this a bridge too far for them to cross Freddy goes down but the black eye over 
is on a sliver of health. If he reverses, he gets hit by the Missouri. If he goes forward, he gets chunked by the Musashi. Caught between a rock and a hard place, eh? Oh wow, just a sliver of health left, but I think red goes down on this salvo. Oh no, he doesn't, he manages to survive and can he take down the Missouri? Victory from the jaws of defeat there. Dime disengaging. Oh my god. What a win here. The Musashi still might take it with one good salvo if he can spot red. No, he doesn't, and Dave Killers survive. Somehow, some way, they make it out, and they win. Dimebag taking another MVP, equally undeserved, and that was one surprising matchup. All right, guys, welcome back. My apologies. Uh, there was some technical issues because of which. Uh, I couldn't do any of the semi-finals, but now we are ready for the finals. We have Windy up against Dave Killers. Uh, Windy in a Musashi, a Black Iowa, and a Marco Polo up against uh, Dave Killers. All back combat. In the Alsace, the Marco Polo, and the Black Iowa. The only difference here is an Alsace versus a Musashi. Hmm. So. This match has the potential to be a snipe fest. Of course, this is a best of three map. A match so plenty of time for these teams to figure out what to do and maybe rectify their mistakes if they feel Louis playing the clever game and not flanking and not getting into the cap he's using his ships uh, speed to flank. He wants to catch one of the lighter armored ships unawares and he's lucky that he will get to face the Black Iowa. From this lineup, the Black Iowa is the least armored of uh, Windy's ships. Meanwhile, Blaze spotting uh, the 617 Black Iowa gets to work and uh, Redman is in serious trouble here. He's lost his uh, turret and 50% of his health. He needs to motor away out of here. But he runs into an island, scrapes his boat and I think he's in a world of pain at the moment. Problems for Fan as well though, but as I said earlier, he's a master of survival. Ooh, that salvo could have nearly 
finish the game for red he gets out of there while he can meanwhile dime has choices here does he engage yuki or does he go after fan louis wants to cut across and i think take the center cap And now Dime is in trouble, like he usually is. <sighs> choices, choices, choices here for Louis. Let's take a look at Blaze's camera. Yuki making full use of his ship's abilities. And Fan just keeping quiet. He knows. Oh, Dimebag goes down. This is pretty much it for the Dave Killers. I think they've finally. met their match and Louis coming in for some punishment poor shooting there from Louis but what can he do Hmm, so Red, at the minute, he has everything to do and not much in the way of options. Stop wasting time, Red, just stop your ship, slug it out, take your hits like a man and go down quick. Let's move on to the next one. Ooh, that salvo nearly finished him. This one will, if it connects. Right, so round one goes to Windy. Let's see what happens in the next one. Can Dave Killers come back and take this next round? Okay, so a 2v2 split on A and a 1v1, a potential for a 1v1 that uh, red refuses and goes towards B. Now they're t trying the traditional Russian tactic of putting all three ships together. Dime making his way across to A, backed up by uh, Louis, and red bringing up the rear. Meanwhile, Yuki will take C and those two, the Black Iowa and the Musashi will provide backup.
The real fight will be at B now. Yuki takes his position and Daim is turning back. He wants to take uh, this spot here right behind the island. First salvos go out. Yuki takes a little bit of punishment, but let's see how much Louis takes. Oof, that was a hell of a salvo. Meanwhile, Fan playing the brave option and he's going to cap B. No. Instead of moving back, Dime should have gone forward and put the enemy in under pressure uh, let's see if he can persuade f Ooh, that was a chunking damage from somebody on time he loses quite a lot of health and has to bugger off meanwhile Louis at the edge of the map coming making his way back into the fight what he doesn't realize is that the Musashi will straight up meet him and will take him out. That is what a Musashi can do, folks. You just saw how much damage the Marco Polo took. Uh, you just saw how much damage the Elsass took from one salvo of the Musashi. It wouldn't surprise me if Blaze was running Yamamoto on his Musashi with APCS Plus and Citadel Strike Plus. Ooh, Louis goes down. Can these two 617 players mount a comeback here? The odds do not look in their favor. Ooh, Red loses a turret. Not the best time to lose one. If there ever is any time to lose one. But... Uh, now, Fan is in some trouble. But what he's done very smartly is put himself in a world of pain, but almost guaranteeing his team a victory here by knocking the teeth out of Dimebag's ship. He will take Dime in the next salvo and then probably turn around to deal with Red. Nope. Takes out red because Dime has disengaged. He's in concealment, but there's nothing he can do. It's like a fair maiden caught between three gangsters. That's it. The dream is over for Dave Killers. Windy take the championship. Thanks for watching everybody and uh, that's it from me, goodbye.